What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to review a set of heated gloves that was sent to us. Um, you know, we're spending the winter time up here in the North Carolina mountains. The cold weather's starting to push in. Uh, I'm working outside a lot in my work camping job that we're doing up here. So being able to keep my hands warm is very important. Looking forward to checking these gloves out, so stay tuned. So up until now, the way I've been trying to keep my hands warm when I'm outside working, um, I take the hot hands hand warmers and I've been sticking them up inside uh, like my work gloves, trying to keep warm that way. And you know that does a good job keeping uh, keeping like the palm of your hand warm, but your fingers still get really really cold. So it's been tough to find a good way to keep my hands warm. Um, you know when it's really cold, if you can keep your hands warm and if you can keep your feet warm, man, you're you're going to go a long way into staying a lot more comfortable outside. So, the gloves we're reviewing are the Sabot Heat uh, Battery Powered Heated Gloves. So, when you get these gloves, they're going to come in a mesh bag, and then here's what the gloves look like. So, they're splash proof, they're not 100% waterproof because of the, of the, of the battery. Uh, you don't want to submerge them in water. But they are splash proof, so if it's damp conditions outside or uh, if you're in the snow, something like that, they're going to still they're going to do a good job keeping your hands dry. So the way these gloves work, uh, inside, just inside the cuff, there's a zipper. So when you get the gloves, you're going to unzip uh, that zipper there, and the battery is going to be inside. It's not going to be plugged in, uh, so you'll have to charge these batteries. So also inside your mesh bag, you're going to find your charger. So it's a wall charger. It's gonna have your two plugs on it so you can charge each battery. Uh, you can see the cord on it is quite long. So it's got a nice long cord. So once you charge the batteries, you're just gonna pull out the cord that's inside the cuff of the gloves. You're gonna plug it in. Then you're just gonna stick that back down inside zip it up so the way these gloves work they have four temperature settings so you just hold down the top button for about a second the red light that comes on is the warmest temperature setting and then it progressively goes down from there purple to green to white white is the lowest setting and as soon as you turn these gloves on, you can immediately feel them start to warm up. Um, what I'm going to do now, it's about 30 degrees outside, so it's plenty cold enough to wear gloves. Uh, I'm going to wear these things all day today. I'm going to work with them all day, and we're going to see how long this battery lasts. Um, we'll talk about what they advertise as far as how long the battery lasts, and uh, we'll see how these things hold up to working conditions outside. All right, so I've been out here using these gloves now for uh, about two and a half hours. Uh, I started off on the red setting, which is the hottest, and even though it was about 30 degrees, that was almost too much. Uh, these things warm up really, really well. So I backed it down. I'm using the, uh, the purple setting now. I went all the way down to the green setting, which is the next to lowest setting. Um, and that would work good, but my hands are still starting to get a little chilly. So I bumped it up one, one setting to the purple setting which is uh, like the uh, basically the not the highest but the one right below the highest setting and uh, man they've been awesome so far um, I like the fact that I can really get down uh, if I need to get my knife out of my pocket or get some out of my pockets uh, they fit snug enough to where they're not super bulky on your hands um, you can still work with your hands which is is a big benefit um, so I was kind of concerned about the weight of the batteries being back here in the cuff because um, the gloves do feel a little heavy at first but with the weight being kind of behind your wrist um, this far back 
you don't feel that extra weight at all. Uh, the gloves don't feel heavy whatsoever. So, uh, really impressed so far. Update you guys at the end of the day. All right, guys, so I've spent the last two days using the Sabot Heat uh, battery operated heated gloves. Today, it's been rainy out. Um, I used them all morning out here. It's been cold and rainy, wet. Um, my hands stayed nice and dry. They did a great job. I started the day off yesterday on the hottest setting, and I tell you what, they warm up really fast. I mean, the minute they turn on, within a few seconds, they start to heat up. As far as battery life goes, um, yesterday I started off on the warmest setting. I kept it on that for a couple of hours. I backed it down to probably the uh, like the second or third hottest setting after that. Um, I got about five hours out of them yesterday and they were still going, still staying warm. So uh, the temperature started off yesterday at around 30 degrees and then uh, later in the day it warmed up to uh, in the upper 40s. So according to uh, the website, the colder it is outside, the shorter the battery life is going to be of these, of these gloves. So um, being that it was in the mid 40s, upper 40s, uh, probably helped extend that battery life a little bit. But uh, I used them pretty, pretty hard yesterday all day. Uh, and at the end of five hours, they were still, they were still staying warm. So um, I'd say the battery life is pretty good. Uh, kept my hands nice and warm. I did everything yesterday. I was cleaning out fire pits. Uh, I was over stacking wood. Um, one thing I also like about these gloves, their size chart is very accurate. When I measured my hand based on their size chart, uh, I come out to be right at sort of the top end of a large. Um, I went ahead and ordered the large. I don't like my gloves to be real bulky uh, and have a lot of extra room in them. It makes it hard to work with, you know, work with your hands. So. I was able to still, uh, if I had to get to my to my pocket knife, get in there, use it, be able to put it back in my pocket without having to without having to take the gloves off. So uh, they fit outstanding. Um, I would say their size chart is is pretty right on. I mean, if you measure your hand based on their size chart, you're going to be fine. Uh, but overall, I really really am impressed with these gloves. Uh, I'm definitely going to use them all winter long. They are as advertised. They did a fantastic job, and I look forward to using these things to keep myself all nice and warm all winter. You can check out the Sabot heated gloves. I'm going to leave a link down in the description, uh, an Amazon link, so you can check them out. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you guys down the road.